today we're in the province of Lampang with a very specific mission. We're going to climb all the way to the top of one of Thailand's most breathtaking temples. We'll also head into town to experience some of the food and culture of Lampang. Bing, grilled pork, and sticky rice. Ooh, this is so hot. <laughs> and I'm having kaikata, which is fried eggs with sausage and ham and bread. Looks pretty good too. Eat up because we will need all the energy <laughs> today. So we've been in Lampang for a couple days now and we've been staying at this cute kind of homey hotel called The Carpenter. So our room is very spacious, very modern. We've really been enjoying working in this room a lot and it was only 1100 baht per night and breakfast is also included in that price so we thought that was amazing. And it's conveniently located next to their cafe where they are famous for croissants. So we'll have to pick one or two of those up for the road. parking lot where we need to I think pay and buy a ticket to go up to the temple. Let's go get ticket. So I got the tickets 80 baht per person for the ride and 20 baht per person for the entrance fee. Oh perfect and this is the truck we're taking. Yeah she said we have to wait 15 minutes I guess they don't want to just go with us they want to wait to see if they have more customers i think that's probably very unlikely it is super quiet here mm -hmm. i mean there's like four cars only in the parking lot but it's also not a very popular place for tourists to go well, even for thais mm -hmm. i don't think it's a very popular place not a lot of people know about this place yet but they will now <laughs> <laughs> want some ice cream this will help us with the height this looks good, what a nice. Hey, choose one. I think the tickets might have been more expensive for you. They didn't think that you're a foreigner. That's why it's 100 baht. Oh really? Yeah. Did you see a different price? Yeah, I think it might be 200 for foreigners. Should we go tell them? Well, we didn't lie. <laughs> we just didn't say anything. So that's okay. <laughs> The reason why it is really quiet here is not because people don't know about this place but we were speaking to the driver and he was saying that they were closed during COVID. Mm -hmm. Twice. And it's also rainy season, landslides are happening too mm -hmm. on this road and it's kind of out of the way for people to come so if they come here and realize they can't go up then they'll be really disappointed yeah. so there's like many factors for why people end up not showing up here but, but today actually, we have company yeah we have five people that just joined us you got some hang tight because we're climbing up yeah. real high I have a tip for you because the ranger just told me make sure to walk on the car path because you can see the road it's yeah. covered by a green moss mm -hmm. it can be slippery 
Oh. Just walk on the, the car track. So we are heading towards the Sky Pagoda, which is only 840 meters up. 15 how long minutes? do you think it'll take? Yeah, how long do you think it'll take us? 15 minutes. We only have 540 meters left. That was quick. But now it's all uphill. Wow. And uh, stairs. We have to take the stairs. <laughs> the stairs look pretty intense. This height is suitable for people with moderate to high level of fitness and ability. Wear sturdy walking shoes. Converse are pretty good. What else? Return before five. I guess it's really dangerous if you are walking down here in the dark. Yeah. I guess we don't have to hit the gym today. It's, it's gonna leg, be a workout. It's leg day. So we may think that these iron staircases are already super hard and tiring to do, but I actually read a story online that said the monks used to walk up the forest to go to the temple at the top of the mountain because it holds a relic in there, an imprint of Buddha's foot. So Buddhist monks would make their way like a pilgrimage to go all the way up through like the jungle, climb the rocks, maybe even bare feet. Most likely bare feet. <laughs> yeah. So this is nothing to complain about, right? <laughs> no. I'm not complaining. Just need a little break. That's all. This is taking longer than we expected. I shouldn't have said only 840 meters because it's not flat. Yeah. It's like this. <laughs> it's okay. Slowly but surely, we'll make it up there. Yeah. Once you make it to the top, you have to hit the giant call. Wow. That's like the most powerful call I ever heard. I can feel it like in my heart. The like vibration. Here, yeah. yeah. You want to try? Yeah. Make it loud. We're here. <laughs> wow. You can already see little pagodas down there. This amazing view. Yeah. But there's still more to go up there. How incredible is this? This is pretty amazing. Wow. Pagodas, or are they stupas, or are they ch chedis? They're pagodas because the sign said pagodas, but oh. I don't know the difference between the three. I think chedi is more taller, or is it like something that houses a relic or something like that? Yeah, and a stupa is not sure. Like you can actually sit in there. Don't move. Don't move. Oh, it's a bee. Or is it a hornet? Hornet. It's huge. Oh. You know what a stupid is? It's <laughs> <laughs> you? 
And take off your shoes here. Take off your shoes. shoes. This is the second platform, viewing platform. Oh, this one's beautiful. I think this is where the relic is. I don't think I've seen another temple in Thailand where the temple is actually right at the peak of the mountain, the limestone mountain. So it's it's not a big place. It's just kind of like scattered over the peaks, which makes it really unique and really cool to see. The weather up here is so pleasant. The mist is floating, passing us right now. It's so beautiful as it kind of goes through the pagodas and the mountains. There's a pretty high chance that most of you who are watching the video are not going to make your way here to Lampang just to visit this temple because it's, it's further away from most things. Like it's two and a half hours from the city of Chiang Mai. We also don't know how you would get here aside from driving your own, yeah, your own vehicle <laughs> or hiring a private driver. Like if you're trying to take like public transportation, I don't think you'll be able to make it to this temple. So in case you don't come, we thought it would be nice to show you what it looks like. After all that hike, I'm ready for snacks. Me too. This is a Five baht. Five baht each. Wow, you got one of each? Yeah. And she will pour some uh, syrup. What do you call it? Mantip. It's like a grilled potato. Yeah, manping. It's different because they're like tiny pieces of taro. Mm. Not like the mushy. <laughs> I want to try it on It has that grilled taste and it's not too sweet. It's a lot of Oh, I love that it's shredded. I love all the texture of it. It's like nice and shredded. Mm. Good start. We have Let's the whole street to explore. <laughs> As you can tell, we are back in the city of Lampang now and today there is a historic cultural walking street which happens every Friday. So we're here to check it out. So far it looks pretty incredible. We already found an authentic snack just at the beginning and everything else smells amazing. We'll walk down here and try a couple more things and show you what the street is like. Yeah. These are my favorite. I don't know what they're called. Oh, how cute, Pak Mo. Yeah. There you go. And then you have to put the crispy garlic on top. So these are steamed rice flour dumplings and inside the filling is peanuts and cabbage like vegetables right mm -hmm. there's no meat in this no and you yeah. sprinkle the what is it fried roasted uh, fried i think it's fried garlic and a little bit of like a savory coconut milk mm. the filling is a little bit sweet but it's also savory like the coconut milk is savory hello man อร่อยอ่ะอร่อยมากอันนี้อะไรล่ะครับข้าวปั้นโบราณจ้าข้าวปั้นโบราณ Never seen it before Yeah never seen it before Let's try it ทานยังไงครับทานยังไงเดี๋ยวนะ That's how you eat it You scoop it with the stick and you stuff it with อันนี้อะไรครับชะโปค่ะอ๋อชะโปกระเทียมกระเทียมงา 
Oh. Oh, sugar cane syrup. Oh, that's why the kids like it. That looks amazing. So actually, it's pretty well widely known in different places in China, in Isan, in like many different places, but they're called different names. But somehow we've never seen it before. Hello, <laughs> May. <laughs> so the flower itself doesn't have much taste. Mm -hmm. It gives the the chewy texture, but what you do is you fill it up with chaipo, which is um, what would you call this in English? Radish, like this, and then fry garlic and roast this sesame seed. And the highlight is the sugar cane syrup. <laughs> mm. So good. It's green because of the pandan. This one blue because of the butterfly blue flower. Mm. And this one is pink because of what would it be? Mm, Roselle? I don't know. How many nimbus shampoo? Oh, beetroot. Oh. Interesting. It's only five baht each. Oh. Four for twenty. Eight for forty. And twelve for sixty. Wow. It's really good at math. <laughs> After spending a couple days here, we feel that it's not the most interesting province in northern Thailand, but there are some cool kind of historic things to do. And then there's that amazing temple we went to earlier this morning. So we'll continue exploring the rest of the cultural street here. Thank you so much for joining us today in Lampang. As always, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next one. Bye bye. bye. Bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you saved the camera. You were really good. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm going to a to take a look a Hãy subscribe cho